guys, so today I'm doing my very, very, very late October favorites, and for that I'm very sorry, but if you guys have been following me on Twitter, you know that I like got like contagion. I got really, really sick, and I'm still very sick right now. I got strep throat, and I got the flu like overnight, and I was like bed rest, couldn't move, completely dead sick, and now it's moved on to like a sinus infection, so... Needless to say, the end of October and October the month of general has not been that awesome for me. I'm just constantly sick, but I do have quite a few beauty products, makeup, hair, kind of fun things to show you, and of course some random things. It would not be a Megan Rosette video if it wasn't random. Uh, favorites from the month of October that I have to show you, so keep on watching. The first thing is a foundation and what I've been using with that foundation. So it is the Tarte Maracuja? Maracuja? Miracle Foundation. It's a 12 hour foundation and I'm in ivory. I love this foundation. I've had it for a while now. I've kind of like worn it sporadically um, just because I don't wear foundation like every day at all. I wear BB cream most of the time if I'm wearing something on my face, but a lot of the time I'll just like kind of like throw caution to the wind and wear no makeup to school, but I'm also really lazy and I always look like Shrek, so I don't really care. I wear foundation when I'm filming and also when I go out at night if I decide to not be a grandma, but that doesn't really happen all that often. This is a very thick foundation. You can tone it down and like make it thinner with moisturizer or BB cream. I've done that too, but I just want a little extra coverage. But it looks so great on the skin. My skin doesn't dry. Like it doesn't, doesn't cling to dry patches. My skin doesn't get oily. Like nothing happens other than it looking flawless. And I feel like it lasts for so long. It really does stick to the whole 12 hour wear thing. I only have school two days a week, but I'm on campus from like early afternoon to like late at night. So I'm like constantly there and I don't want a foundation that by the end of the day I just really look like mm, a hot mess. So I love this because it really, really does stick to the whole lasting thing and I use it with my beauty blender. And what you do with this is you get it wet and you squeeze out the water and it expands and you apply it with it. What I love so much about using this is because it's kind of a thicker consistency of a foundation, using this really gives it an airbrush look. Using it with something like a wet sponge, it just applies it so flawlessly and it blends amazingly and I absolutely love, 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 love it. So definitely make sure to like this video as well as leave in the comments if you guys would like me to do an updated foundation routine with these because I love it and it works freaking miracles on my face, which is probably why it's called a miracle foundation. So next thing I have is a primer, which is so random because I feel like it's something that's just like kind of an everyday basic thing in most people's makeup routines, but for the longest time I was just using, um, like paint pots and eyeshadow bases and things like that and I wasn't really using a primer and by the end of the day my eye makeup would just it wouldn't have been creased and it wouldn't have been gone it would have been really faded and like not as like vibrant and all put together as it was when I first um, did my makeup in the morning so I reached into my makeup stash collection drawer things and I pulled out my Urban Decay Power Potion in Eden I've been using this every single day this is like the fleshy toned one because I have really uneven eyelids they like all veiny and like I'm a vampire like you know the people do vampire tutorials and they like make your eyelids look all weird mine look like that naturally it's really sad but I've been using this and my eyeshadow has been staying all day long and it just doesn't crease it doesn't get any duller it doesn't fade it just looks really really good so I've been loving this. The next thing I've been actually wearing over the primer potion and this is the color tattoo by Eye Studio, the Maybelline thingy thing 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 in barely beige. This is basically just a really pretty light shimmery color. I love putting it all over the lid. If you're too lazy to put eyeshadow on top of it, eyeshadow on top of it does look great. It really makes it the colors come alive. But in addition to that, if I'm just really lazy and I'm just doing eyeliner and mascara, I'll throw this on too. And it kind of just brightens up the eyes and makes it look really pretty. Next thing is a lip combo, and it starts off with the Tarte Glamazon Lipstick and Inspired. I absolutely love this entire line of lipsticks. I've talked about them like all the time. This one is like my pink fall color. I don't know how to describe it. I've been wearing it a lot in videos recently. I've actually been wearing this combo in a lot of videos recently and people have been asking what it is. It's just such a pretty, pretty, pretty lipstick. It's kind of on the darker side of a pink, but on the lips it just looks really natural and really pretty and it looks like very done, but like not too done. And it's not like a kind of immature kind of pink color. Granted, I love bubblegum pinks, but this is kind of like a more fall grown up color and I love 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 it and then pairing it on top with um, dandelion lip gloss by benefit putting this on it on top just makes it very glossy and a little more like 19 a little more my age a little less like going to the business meaning but I love it and this combination lasts for so long and this lipstick lasts for literally like the entire day I can like eat I can like drink iced tea I can like if I had a boyfriend I feel like I could totally kiss my boyfriend and it wouldn't even come off and then the lip gloss is so moisturizing that throughout the day 
I can put it on as I would put on a lip balm at school and it makes your lips look glassy which is I love I never used to be a lip gloss person so if you guys remember that that was a time in my life where I legitimately hated lip gloss but putting this on it makes your lips look so glassy it's not sticky or anything like that benefit lip glosses are like my holy grail thing but this combination together is so 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 cute so I have two nail polish favorites for this month this next one I actually talked about in my recent video which was my fall nail polish guide if you guys haven't checked that out click here as well as check out in the down bar where I basically talk about my 10 favorite nail polishes for the fall season so that one is Rimmel London's in steel gray I had actually painted this for the first time on my nails recently it was always just in my nail polish collection and I'd never used it and I couldn't stop staring at my nails it's such like a mushroomy grayish brown color it's basically like a light purpley taupe I'm obsessed with it I love ugly colors on my nails as I say I'm wearing like red and reds like probably the most classic color ever but I love ugly colors on the nails this is so affordable so cheap super super op opaque and it lasts for such a long time or if you're really looking for kind of getting into fall nail polishes but you don't really have the budget for like OPI and all those expensive things especially if you live in countries where like OPI is like $45 definitely try out and get one of these because it's super super pretty the next polish definitely does not scream fall and this is on my nails and it's currently on my toes right now but you like a nice basic pink BG is perfect and flawless and I don't know how I didn't have it before because like, everyone on YouTube obsessed with it and I'm just really late to that party this is so opaque it is so incredibly pretty it just makes me feel like a ballerina like I feel like such like a girly princess fairy princess when I wear this color my next favorite is by Benefit and it is the she's so jet setter makeup kit I've fallen in love with this. It's ident ideally designated for traveling. I haven't actually really been traveling at all. I've been really using the eyeshadows and the blush. When I travel, obviously, I have both of these in full size, which this is the Benefit Life on the A list lip gloss, which is my all-time favorite lip gloss ever. And this is the Benefit's Their Real Mascara, which is my favorite mascara. So these I haven't been using. I'm saving them for when I do travel. And I also have the Core Professional, so I'm saving this for when I travel as well. But I've been using these four eyeshadows and this blush literally all the time. I'm obsessed with it. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes and my cheeks right now. So if you guys want to see like my everyday natural tutorial is because this is my everyday makeup, eye makeup and cheeks in here, which I've been using for the last like month or more. I just think it's like a perfect little kit to kind of like get some really nice eyeshadows. These are like full size eyeshadows, a really nice blush and then try out three products that you may really end up loving and wanting to buy the full size of. So I absolutely love it. So you can buy it at benefit.com, you can buy it at Sephora, any place like that, but it is like my absolute favorite thing. So make sure to leave in the comments below if you want a tutorial of my eye makeup. I know it's really natural, but it's it's like my favorite thing I've been doing recently. So the last kind of makeup related thing is actually a face moisturizer. And this is the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer Salicylic Acid and Acne Medication Oil Free. So I've been using my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer for what felt like ever, and I'm actually a Clean and Clear Ambassador. So one of the uh, packages they sent me with some of their products, they included this. And I, for some reason, I think I knocked my other moisturizer back behind my desk where I keep my makeup, and I was way too lazy to get it. And so I just, I was like, oh yeah, I have another moisturizer that Clean and Clear sent me. I'm gonna go out and try it. So I went out and tried this. I just feel like when I put it on, it makes my skin glow. And then not only does this not break my skin out, it like makes me break out less. I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with this moisturizer. It doesn't make my skin feel dry, even though it has acne medication in it, yet it still does, still does fight the acne. Like, it's freaking amazing and flawless, and I absolutely love it. So I have one kind of, like, body favorite, which is, like, sounds like I'm saying my favorite body part of the month, which, I mean, let's be honest, my favorite body part of the month is always abs. Especially the Abercrombie bags. <sighs> so cute. My actual favorite body product of the month is the Vanilla Bean Noel. Triple Moisture Body Cream. <sighs> Not only does this moisturize my legs amazingly and they feel so soft and so nice, it smells like vanilla Christmas. I feel like if you don't even like this scent, the Triple Moisture Body Creams all in general have really, really, really moisturizing and it makes my skin just feel super, super nice. And I have eczema, so finding a moisturizer that not only doesn't like irritate my eczema, but makes my skin still feel soft, in addition to me still having eczema, this is amazing, 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 and I absolutely love it. And they have all their holiday wintery scents, which makes me so happy because that's what I'm obsessed with. So my favorite candle of the month has been Cider Lane. Oh my gosh. It basically just smells like straight up caramel apple, and it smells delicious. The description of it is, as sweet as a trip to the local apple orchard each year, a delicious fall blend of mulled cider, warm caramel, and sweet cinnamon. Does that not scream fall to you guys? It smells delicious, delicious, delicious. And I've been burning it in my room constantly and just making it feel like autumn's hanging out in my room right now. I am one of those old ladies that's constantly like in my room with like a big mug of tea like curling up watching a movie. Like tea is my jam. So the one that I've been loving for this month is the Pumpkin Spice Rebos? Rubios. Rebos. 
My roommate works at Starbucks and I still can't pronounce these kinds of things. And this is the herbal blend and it's from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is my jam. That's like the only place I grocery shop like ever here and I'm obsessed with it but oh it's just an herbal pumpkin tea so it has no um caffeine so it's what I drink in the nighttime because in the day let's be honest I drink a lot of caffeine. How do you think I talk so fast? I don't even think it really tastes like pumpkin. I think it kind of tastes like a sweet not too sweet but cinnamony deliciousness blend. It's super, super, super good. I know it is limited edition for the autumn time, so if you want to go pick it up, go to your local Trader Joe's and try it. It is delicious. One of my favorite teas. I've been drinking it every night before I go to bed, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And I'm gonna be really cliche, but let's be honest, Taylor Swift's new album is definitely the best music thing that has come out this entire month. I am completely obsessed 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 with her I love her I just want to be her best friend is that weird I honestly may even say it's like the best one she's done to date I love it love it love it obviously I was a huge fan of the fearless album but this is amazing and I love it and so there's not even a single song I could pick that is my favorite I love all of them if you haven't downloaded Taylor Swift's Red you need to go download it right now but I will show you guys kind of clips of my favorite songs from the album even though all of them are my favorite we're just gonna pick some right now <laughs> enough minutes in this video for me to discuss how much I love that new album. If you have not downloaded it yet, please go download it. It's amazing. I spent all of my time like looking on uh, the websites being like, who, who, who do we think each song is about? And I'm like obsessed because I feel like I know her and I'm like, Taylor, tell me what this one's about. What are you doing to you? John Mayer, what a dick. Okay, you guys, that is it for my favorites video. I'm sorry this was so long, but I feel like I had so many fun things to show everybody. You are everybody, apparently. I sh everybody's watching this now. Everybody, the whole wide world is watching. That'd be really scary. If you have any questions about what favorite products I list or anything like that, definitely make sure to check the down bar where they will all be listed. Definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel because a lot of my friends in college are like, oh yeah, I watch your videos all the time. I'm like, oh, you subscribe. And they're like, what's subscribing? And I'm like, really, bro? Really? We're like really good friends. You haven't even subscribed. So if you're watching this video and you're like, it's a little button that says subscribe, you should click it. Just gonna say it. Just gonna say it. And definitely make sure you're following me on my other outlets. If you guys didn't know, I also have a Twitter and an Instagram. Both names are Megan Rosette. And all of my other channels and websites that I use that you can follow me on if you just can't get enough Megan are listed in the down bar. My down bar is literally chock full of goodness and goodies. The only thing that isn't there is cookies. Sorry, virtual cookies. Still trying to figure out how to do that. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.